Hey guys, I'm here with my next video. I'm going over Samsung Health, and um, not just Samsung Health specifically, the meal tracking portion in the Samsung Health app. Um, so when you get into the app, it's gonna look just like this, and then you can scroll down to food. That's where you're gonna get into the meal tracking. Um, so you can see I've already put in a few things here, and I wanted to go over this and kind of compare it maybe a little bit to my fitness pal, so you guys kind of know what you're getting into, if this is what you're using for your meal tracking. So to start out, there's those three dots in the top right. You can set your target by pushing that button. So you hit set target and then it goes into your target and that is based on calories. Um, so when you're going into this, it's not like my fitness pal, you can't go off fats, proteins, and carbs. It's only going off of calories and it goes up by increments of 50 calories for each of these little markers. I have mine set at 3,100 right now, just as an example for you guys. You might have it set at something lower like 2,000. The only thing I will say about this portion is it doesn't matter as much how many calories you're eating than what you're eating. It's more important to get healthy fats and healthy um, carbs, um, no simple sugars, than it is to eat 2,000 calories every day. Um, so I'm a little bit disappointed in that, that portion of it, but it does give you kind of a goal or a standard to go off of. Then after that, um, you look down a little bit lower, it's going to show you your calories that you eat and then based on your goal, it's going to fill up that bar. So right now I have put in 8,100 calories and showing that and then how close I am to that 3,100 um, calorie goal. And so if you look at that, um, you can go into say any of these like breakfast and then you add or subtract your meal. So actually I'm going to go back right here. Let's go into a new one. So we go into lunch. So for lunch, there's two things you can do. You can either pick that on the top right that you skip that meal, just like the evening snack, it's skipped. And I like this feature a lot, and it's not on my fitness pal. The reason I like it, because if you're a big afternoon snacker, you could say you skip your afternoon snack. And then you could scroll through your days and see that you've been really good about not eating basically at night or something like that. And if you maybe skip lunch all the time and you don't want to be doing that, you can hold that button and delete that and then it shows that you, and you can put in your meal and show that you have been eating that meal. So I think that's actually an important feature and something that you wouldn't get on something like PayPal. But anyways, you go into that and you can either search foods, go to favorite foods, or add your own personal food. So starting out with um, searching foods, you can pretty much find everything on here. So if I went to say um, Denny's and looked up pancakes, or excuse me, that's a little off pancakes. There we go. So you can push Denny's and it goes Denny's pancakes and it goes through every option of Denny's pancakes. Um, say you just picked blueberry and then you can add the servings in here. So how many servings have you had? Um, and you can also switch that to calories, which I wouldn't do. It tells you the macronutrients of that, the carbs, fat and protein. And then it also goes into a label of that, which I actually um, find really good or something that you could actually have useful. So telling you the sodium, um, cholesterol, different things like that. And you could hit, um, and also one other thing to note is that it says carbohydrates, but it also tells you your dietary fiber and sugars, which is something you really want to watch out for is having those simple sugars. So it's nice that it really breaks it down in that way. Um, once you kind of get your servings down, so say I had two servings, you can hit done and then it's checked. Then you could go to that next button and it's going to allow you either to change those servings. Um, if you push that picture icon, it'll allow you to either upload an image of that picture or take an image of your food so you can have that in there. And another useful feature is say you're eating at lunch, you can push the time button and say you ate at 12 o'clock, you can put 12. If you ate at lunch at say 2.30, you could switch that to 2.30. I find it actually kind of nice that you can put the exact time of day that you ate that meal, especially if you're intermittent fasting or something like that. So you can um, know the exact hours between each of your meals. And I don't think my fitness pal has done that either. I've used that app quite a bit and I've never seen that feature, which I really like about this app. And then you can either um, go back and add more foods here or again, change your, um, change your servings a little bit in this section. So I'm gonna go back again um, to the main screen. So obviously I added some more calories. It's showing me on the top that I'm closer to my goal. But then what you can do again, is scroll down and it's going to tell you your macronutrients that's recommended for you for um, for the day. So 55 carbs, 25 fats, 20 proteins or yeah, so 20% pro percent protein. And what I have from what I've put in 52% um, carbs, 32% fat and 
16% um, protein, which is pretty close to the goals. And then it also breaks that down in grams, which I really kind of like how it compares that way. Uh, and then you go down a little bit more and it's going to tell you your um, individual fiber, potassium, vitamin C, vitamin A. So um, different um, vitamins and minerals that you've had, including, uh, excuse me, I'm not trying to say your macronutrients. And what I do like about this too, is you can go into view more details under here in the very bottom right. And it's going to tell you in view more details, your protein, what you ate for protein. And it's going to give you a little graph on if you've had not enough, you've had enough, or you've had too much, which I really like that because it shows that like, as far as potassium goes, you need 4,700 milligrams of potassium every day. And people think, oh, you need to get like up to that much. But no, that's still set at the minimum. So you want to get that and then some. Um, so you, I like how it's got like the graphs that show you that you're in the yellow zone and you want to be in that green zone. And it puts that green zone under basically the daily average or the like minimum daily allowance is what they actually, this is going to. And then it shows red. So if you get too much of certain things, um, you don't want to get there either. So as far as like saturated fat, you can see that there's no minimum of saturated fat, but I've gotten close to the maximum of that. And sodium is way off the charts, but well, maybe I'll make a video about that later. Sodium, and this isn't food I've actually ate, but sodium is actually a lot better for you than you'd think. Um, so let me go back here and I'll scroll up. Um, one more thing to say about the app is it doesn't have a feature that lets you scan food, which I don't like that. Like you can't scan a barcode. So that's the biggest thing. Overall, I actually really do like this app. You can look up any food, research any food, and actually, let me go back to that. So for, this is frequently um, added foods, but if we go to here, you can go to add. When you're in this add portion, you can type in any food. So say um, box of chocolate. There's a certain chocolate you like to eat. And then you can um, hit the calories that are in that. So say 60 and add all the nutrients. So you can add all the nutrients that are in that specific food they're eating and punch it in manually, which is also another thing I really do like about this app. So overall, again, I really do like it. I would recommend people to use it, but just know you can't scan barcodes, which is, I'd say the biggest fallback of um, the Samsung food tracking um, in the Samsung health app. Um, so you guys, I'm going to go over more stuff in this app in the future. I'm probably really soon going to go over the heart rate and the stress and how that works on the phone. If you want to see that video, um, stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Carter Pro out.